guys what is up wild bull here welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing a lot quicker version of the annual gta car collection for 2022 why do i have a scratch through my eye jesus last year i also started the video in this exact garage it has changed we have i think 22 properties to go through i don't remember how much i had last year but i think i added three more i guess let's get started i'm in eclipse towers so i'm gonna be going through all the properties i'll have the total in the top left of your screen how many cars there are as well in the collection or in the garage that i show you of each this is my like my collection where there's no dlc cars really so it's all the cars are released in 2013 here's like my i think it's like a m5 or something here's my infinity always been the same my hustler this is like a ford deluxe deluxe i got this last year has a white pinstripe livery big blower huge exhaust coming out on the sides angled yeah i just wanted to add you'll notice i have a couple of classics i've added to this collection moving on we've got my carbon is Air, or the ferrari california and Russell course i think i changed the color a bit uh, i changed the wheels also chrome and last year i had a black spoiler now i have a red one other than that it's still the same can't really do too much modifications as well it came like from bumper hood side skirts Moving on, this is new, my Ram 1500. I just wanted a, like a Ram truck. I tried replicating the SRT 10, uh, cause it's a Dodge truck with pretty much, this still has a V8, so I'm just gonna keep it as a 1500 as is. In red and upgraded wheels, it's pretty nice. Same old Eclipse, haven't touched that in forever, honestly. This is new, my Peyote. I just wanted like some classic 1950s car in a salmon pink, not even maybe like a bargain pink, I don't know. You just, you'd see this in the 1950s and I never really had a lowrider. I have this one and the Bel Air right there, the Tornado, I'll show that in a second. But yeah, these were like my first lowriders. I noticed I didn't have that, so I wanted to add some variety. Pretty nice and with the white sidewalls. This is my Stratum, the R32 wagon. Same blue and Cosmo wheels, I'm pretty sure. And then here, this is the Bel Air, the Tornado I was talking about. In a red and white interior. It's pretty nice with the little bobblehead. Again, I didn't have a low rider, so I got those two on the same day. And then right here, we've got the Akusuka 2000 GTR. This was actually in my third garage in Maze Bank. I was running out of space, so, and I was moving cars around. Last year I had a Ford GT, probably where the Ram is. Moved that to Maze Bank. I had an extra space in here. So I moved this car there. And now I think I have a couple more spaces in my third garage. But yeah, that is pretty much all 10 cars here in Eclipse Towers. And let's move on to the second garage. All right, so we are in the second garage, second property. This is my classic car collection. A few of them have changed, maybe honestly like three i want to say um so let's start off with the most obvious one i have the penetrator i replicated the jaguar xj220 stwr one of six in the world and i actually was able to see one of them in person i think twice one last year and another time at an auto show here we got the db5 haven't touched that this i have touched um lamborghini diablo last year ever since actually since i bought it i had it for so long as a lamborghini diablo gtr but i've changed that to viola sc30 with the white interior and i think these are stock wheels yeah super nice actually how it turned out i love the white interior so clean it's a crew color um and i have a website that i use for my crew colors i'll have a link in the description down below you can check it out as all manufacture colors and you can search moving on we got my 250 gto swb uh i think i had a livery on it last year and for many years i might put it back on it kind of looks too like boring i feel like ones with livery in real life they're more iconic more valuable and you know more recognizable this it is recognizable you could just see it's a 250 gto swb but for in-game purposes, I feel like putting back on a livery would look nice. It's also in uh, Rosso Corsa, the crew color. I put on pretty much all my Ferraris, almost all my Ferraris, because this one right here, this is my Testarossa. Last year I had it in white, uh, now I changed it to cream, um, but I have some deep dish wheels, which look pretty clean. Um, here we got my 300 SL, haven't touched that. 
uh, my Kuntosh, I also haven't touched um, just my Wolf of Wall Street spec. Here, got my Rat Rod, also haven't touched that. F40, my Turismo Classic. I think I may have touched it, I'm not too sure. I have stock wheels on. Rasa Corsa again, the closest one you can get to a real life F40, just with the middle strut. So I guess it's a F40C wing, F40 Competed Zione, and the red interior. And then we've got my Bugatti Atlantique. Also haven't touched that in pretty much a long time. I think I used to have vents on it. Got rid of that. That's my classic car collection. In this right in the garage, I bought it off the map. But now we're gonna move on to the next garage. All right, so we are in my Kaya Perico heist garage. One car has been removed. That is my SF90. I'll show you guys that later on where it is, but pretty much same as last year. Got my two Herbies or two Beetles. One of them's a Herbie drag build. Pretty sick. I recreated this in Forza. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure to go check that out. Next to it, I got my beach stance Beetle the white walls surfboard on top in Miami blue and we got my ATV I think you claim this for free which I've had ever since like 2020 December here on my Fiat nice little road trip vehicle haven't touched that uh this also I'm pretty sure was free and then we got the Willys Jeep and the utility spec mill spec I guess yeah that's really it I haven't touched this garage at all but let's move on to the next property all right, we're in the next property. In my first house, I actually bought it ever in GTA. Touch of one or two, actually. So let's start off with the Jester. My very first sports car I ever bought, 200K. Haven't touched a single thing on this ever since I bought it. Um, in like, what, five years, maybe? Here is my GTR. I had a black roof for the longest time. Finally removed that uh, and changed the color. Here we got my Grabber Blue GT500, the Dominator. I haven't touched that. I bought a T801, haven't touched the Ruiner, and then my Vaca, which is in, I don't know what orange it is. Some Lamborghini orange, I forget. But that is it for this garage. Let's move on to the next one. Next property up is my Tuners Update DLC collection. So starting off, we've got, actually all of these vehicles were the most viewed videos i've done last year back in i think it was like july august so appreciate for all the guys who watched it um but if you guys haven't go check them out starting off we got the first vehicle i did in the update a91 edition mark 5 supra adjuster rr uh yeah i did an a91 edition so a little ducktail lip refraction blue and pretty nice wheels tried making them look closest to stock wheels next up we got the tofu initial d ae86 pretty much like everyone does this yeah i didn't really know like any other build to do so i just did initial d with the imported plate as well and then here a little skeptical car i've had for so long that i wasn't sure if i was gonna keep it or not my 370z nismo i was gonna sell it just because it turned out so boring doing a nismo and Tried changing it up, did a carbon hood and fenders, so it's like a drag build. It's all right looking, but I still don't know. Like, you, I don't think you can do a wide body, which I would have done. Then we got my Moss 302 Fastback Mustang in yellow with the black stripe down the middle and the side uh, design like the Boss 302 in real life. And then we got my Celica GT4, a rally build. I have the closest livery you can do for the casserole livery except it's blue and red it's not green and red so and i don't even know if i have it unlocked i still gotta check it's been so long but in the meantime i just had this random rally livery then we got my s13 this is so nice i didn't do a video on this i should have but in like a wine red uh the angled exhaust the small low-key fenders for a wide body it isn't really technically a wide body it's just like bolted on fenders really but still super nice and then the semi stripped interior so it's like street legal but it's also like a drift rocket um then next up we got my s2k i had so many like variations of this i first did like a track advan build didn't do that so i just did like a roadster sunday cruiser nice hood louvers still came out pretty nice 
Then we got my RS3, also tried doing a track build with this, didn't turn out good, so I just did a regular like street build, turned out nice. This was also nice to do, uh, I did a video on this, my Drift RX7, concave wheels, huge chassis wing, the wide body, carbon louvers in the rear. It's really nice, super hard to drift though, just cause there's so much oversteer. And then next up we got, I also did a video on this, my clean RX7, just tried making it look like a uh, real life stock and authentic RX7. So I got the Cosmo rims and chrome and a tan slash beige interior with the seats and kind of like the Spirit R wing as well. So yeah, that is this collection and let's move on to the next one. All right, and the next property in my motorcycle clubhouse, I haven't touched any of these at all. So really that's it. Um, Just have the oppressor chilling in here. That's my motorcycle collection. I wanted more detail last year. So let's move on to the next one. All right, here we got some of the exciting stuff. This is my first maze bank garage, uh, which is all just my supercars. Not all of them in my collection, just the ones that were before the gun running update or the or an export update, I should say. Uh, so starting off, we got my FMJ. I'm pretty sure this is new. Just tried making it look like a performance blue 4GT. We got my Entity XF, just a regular same old Aguera RS. I think it changed color. Then we got my 4GT second gen, which was in my Eclipse Towers garage. Moved it here just to make space in Eclipse Towers. My Banshee, haven't touched that. Still pretty nice. Still pretty nice drift car. Um, and insane double clutch. My Autarch, Autarch, and my 811 or 918 in liquid silver. Upstairs we got, I don't know what this color is called. It's the NSC Venom F5, the launch color, it was like a bright yellow. I'll have a picture of it on your screen. Uh, last year I had it in a dark blue with I think tan interior. Now it's just this yellow with black interior and the swan doors, which I haven't noticed until maybe last year. Here we got my Volcano Orange T20 or P1. Changed the color and the wheels to make it look more like a P1. Other than that, it's still the same old first supercar I've ever bought, I think as well. Here we got my Sultan RS, haven't touched this. My Reaper also haven't touched. My two Osiruses. This one is a purple and gold, but this one is a crude color, which I, I use the website uh, GTA Colors, which I have a link in the description. Mentioned that before in this video. Manny Koshman's Hermes edition, which he just got back recently. Uh, it's supposed to be like the brown carbon, which looks pretty nice. And then we got my Itali GTB wide body. Uh, I was thinking of doing like a 620R. I don't know if I should do that or even if I could. And then on the third floor, we got my Zentorino. Made it look like a Sesto Elemento. My XE, or sorry, XA21. I haven't touched that. My Chrome Batmobile, haven't touched. This is my Iron, which I made to look like a Paul IE. Purple and gold. I think I used the Crew Color website for that. And then my two Huracan, my Super Trofeo. Huracan and my Performante, which also looks pretty nice. I changed the wheels up a bit and went finally with the concave wheels on the Performante. Pretty sick. Let's move on to the second Maze Bank garage. Here we're in the second car garage in Maze Bank. Got my Rapid Blue C8 wide body, not wide body, I want to say just slammed and a bunch of upgrades with the ultra blue interior, I'm pretty sure, since you can't do crew colors for. Uh, interior colors. Here we got my Sebring Orange C7 ZR1. Uh, I changed the wheels and they look pretty nice. Closest to in real life ZR1, which I think they look exact, honestly. Here we got my Comet SR in silver and black uh, center cut or center lock wheels to make it look like a 997 GT2 RS. My Hoonigan Porsche. Haven't touched my FF or GTC for Luso. I think I had a blue last year. Now it's silver or gray. And then my R8, which I haven't touched. Next up, we got the coil. I, yeah, this has to be new from last year. I uh, made it look like a Tesla Model S in red. Got my Om Omnis, 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 yeah. Uh, tried going for that Audi Quattro. Uh, couldn't do yellow for the livery, so I had to stick with red. But other than that, like the bottom half of the car, actual color, that's the closest livery. 
got my, my neon or the taken turbo s nard of gray and pretty nice wheels i think last year i had this in white got my links the uh, f type and chrome wheels also crew color got my lg retro haven't touched maybe only difference is the front splitter got my unicorn haven't touched that maybe the wheels yeah Maybe only the wheels I've touched. Other than that, everything's the same. And then my CA.R track build. And then up here, I have my canvas car, which I've used to preview colors, crew colors, but it just became useless because I could preview them on the actual car. I don't got to use this car specifically. So it's just here collecting dust. Got my two go-karts, my wide body Vantage. Haven't touched at all. Vector custom. Got my F12. Berlinetta and Largo and then my C63 a Schwarzer with nice wheels bolts around the rim to match the fenders pretty nice let's move on to the third and final garage in Maze Bank here we're in the third garage this is my I should have mentioned before that was my sports car garage and now this is my muscle car off-roading slash SUV garage and sedan garage i'm probably missing another like hatchback maybe yeah the golf in the corner so here we got my eleanor haven't touched this my duco death haven't touched as well just in blue six by six my mustang my golf this one i've touched it's now white before it was green it had a lot of camber before now i kind of raise it so it's like a realistic angle and height and then we got my baller that i also haven't touched up here we got my night shark this is literally the anti try hard vehicle if there's like an impressor behind you killing you all the time take this out and it's indestructible can withstand i don't know how many rockets here you got my trail cut pretty nice off-roader my shelby cobra in matte black my insurgent the glendale uh yeah i think i put the pinstripe here and then we got my flash gt tried making it look like a Jim Connor 10 10 block build ford focus and then we got my GNX with the big OVO logo on the side. Haven't touched that. Now this Yosemite Rancher. I tried making this look like an old Bronco. I don't, I'm not too sure what it's based off of in real life. I'm, I called the other regular Yosemite a C10. Just because it kind of looks closest to it. Maybe this is a lifted C10. Not too sure. Got my two Wraiths. Have not touched this actually. I just noticed matches one of my other cars. I just noticed that right now midway recording like literally a second what the heck anyways got my weaponized tampa haven't touched my virgo haven't touched probably one of the best sounding cars in the game honestly the crackles and pops my urus changed the wheels but other than that same crew color yellow as like a regular urus and then my shafter v12 but yeah that is my third garage in maze bank this dude is spamming the chat so let's move on to it the next garage here we are in my facility um got my apc and my safari porsche that has changed i'm pretty sure and then my camacho really sick off-roader on the other side over here we got my fake 812 which i first thought it was going to be an 812 got my e30 m3 uh, i might do a less aggressive spoiler and hood other than that the wheels so nice I haven't touched that and then we got my slammed c10 truck also haven't touched i don't think i almost changed the wheels but i was like i'll keep them they're pretty unique that's pretty much all now let's move on to i'm not sure what's left the casino nightclub arcade still got a bunch actually all right inside the first level of the nightclub we got my mark IV supra haven't touched that Nice exposed radiator and single turbo in the front. But let's move on to bank my F1 car garage. Yeah, so this is my F1 car garage. So we got the consumer and road legal version alongside the F1 version, the 2020 slash 2021 season. So starting off, we got Ferrari and the SF90. This is where I moved it from the Cayo Perico optic garage to here alongside the SF1000 or the SF21. Uh, base it off the SF1000 though. Here we got the Vantage F1 edition and AMR green alongside the AMR21. And then we got the Valkyrie also matching in AMR green. 
behind it we've got the w12 in black and the amg project one amg one i should say and then finally we've got mclaren in this corner we've got the mp4 slash six the marlboro livery the consumer version which is right in the middle of the two f1 cars the f1 lm the full lm package in papaya orange and then the mcl 35m or mcl 35 i should say the 2020 car so that's my f1 car garage let's move on to i think my bugatti garage so yeah here's my bugatti garage i gotta move it to the fourth one and then continue because i still have more f1 cars I'm pretty sure these two are the new ones. So we've got the electric blue with black Bugatti, and navy blue interior, really clean. And the white and black Bugatti with the white interior. And then this one I'm pretty sure is from last year. Blue carbon, the red interior, red and white interior, I should say. And in this corner, we've got my adder, which I made it look like the world record Bayron Supersport 16.4, Vision GT, and the Devo, which I think, yeah, those three are from last year you guys saw but that's my bugatti garage and let's move on to the continuation of my f1 garage all right so yeah this garage is still like messed up i guess i had to buy a bunch of free cars to fix the mobile um ifru app to fix the license plate to get an extra one which was the imported license plate and finally got it to work but i just never sold these LEGs, so i just have them chilling in here but in this corner we got some four f1 cars so we got red bull right here we got alpine in this corner michael schumacher's f2002 and then the lotus which is a r88 right yeah this one's pretty nice i like how it turned out the gold and black but those four are the only f1 cars in this garage so let's move on all right we're in the uh, not facility the arena garage got i think five cars in here so center off the left side we got my a12 which is in a really trash looking red i don't know what happened to it fix it back to like regular rosso corsa the tan interior and that's old from last year i believe uh then we got my fair lady it might have been blue it was blue before that i don't remember if it was blue last year with the chocolate leather interior and the quad hood exhaust on this side we got my chevy nova the Vamos, which is like a twin turbo. You can see the twin turbos in the front. This thing's new. Um, drag build is really good for wheelies. Got the wheelie bar, the drag wing, air shoe in the back, thick tires, side exit exhaust, the full roll cage, and a little padding on the passenger seat. <laughs> really sick car. Here we got my Magma Beam Orange GT Black Series. Uh, it was silver before, but before that, I was debating if I should get a second one next to my AMG GTR, which is in Green Help Magno. Uh, and I was like, sure. So I got the second one, put it in silver for a while, and I was like, you know what? I want to try Green Hell or not Green Hell Magno, uh, Magma Beam Orange. Saying those two is really confusing. But yeah, it turned out really sick. It's pretty similar to my ZR1 in Sebring Orange. Uh, and then, yeah, right next to it, we've got my Green Hell Magno AMG GTR, which I've had for quite a while now love it but that's my arena garage so let's move on to the next one all right so inside here is my casino garage uh, i think one car is new and one left uh, i have my santa gtr then we've got my zero russo or zero uno the tree glory down the middle then we got my regular santa now i don't remember if i had it in last video but i had three Senna's actually I had a Senna LM I sold that because it, it wasn't like as appealing as my F1 LM I had those two together uh but then I just sold that so now I just have two Senna's um here's my Narda Gray RS5 this is new turned out really clean I gotta drive it more often though and we got my Raptor which I changed up the color I don't remember what color it is I changed up also the front bumper I'm pretty sure uh, and the wheels Kept the same livery, like the Raptor livery. You see the gray in the rear. Pretty sick off-roader as well. My same old Hellfire in black, which is always a nice car to pull up to car meets. Got my Drag Demon as well, Hellfire. And then this color I changed. This was my jugular. It was blue, but now I changed it in orange. So it's like the stock color on the XESV Project 8. And then we got my British Racing Green Bentley Continental. Same as 
last year. So that's my casino garage. Let's move on to, I'm assuming my arcade now. All right, here we're in my arcade garage. So let's, nothing really has changed. Um, got my CTSV. I think I changed the wheels on that. Next up here, we got my limited edition Civic Type R. Same, I, I might have changed the color on this, but other than that, the idea is still the same and pretty much all upgrades. This is my X5M. I changed this up a bit. I changed the color, the wheels, and I think the rear spoiler, yeah. Turned out much better than how it was before. Then right here, we got my Alfa Romeo Giulia. Uh, I had it at, as a GTA M or tried to make a GTA M last year, but didn't really turn out that well. And then here we got my Furia. Uh, just tried making it look like a Viola Hong Kong 88 Pista. Turned out really sick. I know it's not, I don't think it's supposed to be based off of 48 Pista. Then we got the Huna truck. I think I only changed the wheels. Also made a video on this, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. And then we got my Drag Civic, which also made a video on this. Go check that out. Um, haven't really touched this at all. Just, I think I made it really nice and I'm satisfied ever since I upgraded this. But that's my arcade garage. So now we pretty sure we have one more. All right, so I capped. There's this garage, I forgot. Still got a Helix in here. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this is my auto shop garage from the tuners DLC. So these are actually some nice cars as well, which I've made videos on these ones. So if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. Here we got my 991.2 GT3 RS in Miami blue. The gold wheels turned out so sick with that wing as well. Next we've got my 992 GT3 Touring, the 992 front, chrome wheels, the storage on the top. No spoiler, just like the Touring. And if we check out the interior, have it in like a dark brown, chocolate brown maybe. Uh, and then next up, we got my 992 911 Turbo S. Black and white, super clean. The little ducktail spoiler. And then here we got my Cypher, the M2CS in Misano Blue and Champagne wheels. Super sick. I also used the GTA Colors website for this color, I'm pretty sure. It wasn't that much different from what I had before though for in-game colors. Then on the other side, we got my Terminator really sick i think that's probably my top three for favorite cars in this garage chrome wheels uh here we got my game in gt4 and racing yellow the center exhaust small spoiler uh i think they're the same wheels yeah on the gt3 rs down there next to it we got my rally 22b just like the classic uh gold bright yellow and blue subaru colors pretty sick i it's so light and fast off-road probably one of the best rally cards honestly in this game and then this is my other favorite in this garage my midnight purple rocket bunny rcf nice deep dish wheels same as on my vantage these wheels just go so well with if you have like a wide body or something that has to do with the fenders at least it just matches and contrasts the rest of the build so well and i love it and then finally we've got my rcf track edition the carbon fiber hood uh in gray the big wing the girthy diffuser and red interior. So now I think we have one more, well, one more garage. After that, we still have a property. All right, for the final garage, we got my studio. Um, so on the top floor, we just got that free Cullinan that everyone gets. And if we go downstairs is where it's packing. So we got 10 cars, I believe in here. So on this side, we got my Cayenne. I did the gray and light white pearlescent, uh, the matte glitch. I did that and on my Sion down there. So turns out it's like a satin color and got the same wheels I have on my X5M. These wheels look so good. Here we got the long baller ST. Look, look how long it is. Look at this and there. It's like basically touching the wall, but just try to make it look like my other baller because this one's a closer version to the real life Range Rover Sport SVR. Here, this is my charger. Tried making it a wide body red eye, but obviously doesn't have the wide body options. So it kind of sucks, but at least I have similar color and wheels. Next to it, we got the Victor 
I have it in a black or green pearlescent uh, stock wheels, just like the real life car, honestly. It's so it probably has to be the smallest car in this garage. And then here we got the Heritage Edition 911 in cherry red. No window tint, just to make it look classy and like a cream interior. Across from it, we got probably one of my favorite cars I built in this garage. My Bentley Mulsanne in like a midnight blue. Has a full, all the upgrades, so has armor, the machine gun, full like VIP spec. Then next to it, we got my Lamborghini Sion. Did a video on this, also did the glitch, the matte glitch, so having like a dark tan and then I think it's like do yellow or lesson just to get that look from the lighting. It's pretty sick. And then I also did the wheels, the stock wheels glitch. So if you guys didn't know, you can't do change the color of stock wheels in this game. Probably the dumbest things I've ever heard, but I did the glitch. So now you can. So I have it in like gold. So this is the card that I was talking about. I have my Rolls Royce Wraith and my Rolls Royce Cullinan in the same spec, same wheels, same color, everything. And I didn't even plan that out. I just like how it looked in all white with multiple spokes on the wheels. And I literally noticed that midway when I was looking at the Wraith. Next week we got my H1 mil spec um, Hummer. So we got the full huge bull bar, nice off-road tires and wheels, the sidestep OVO logo, military livery, the roof rack and the rear bars and the bumper bars back there. This thing, I haven't driven it much. I'm going to take it more off-roading. And then finally, we got the SSE Tuatara, the Overflood Zenvo or Zeno. Yeah, Zeno. Zeno. They wouldn't say Zenvo. That's literal copyright. That's my studio garage. And let's go to the final property. And came here on my presser, and I'm assuming it just went on water. So now we got to pay for it. But here we're in my Kosaka, and that is the final property, which is... With the Torado, Torado. Oh yeah, that's the only vehicle in my Kosaka because it's aquatic. And I'm gonna put up the total of last year's collection compared to this year's collection and how many cars I have now. I don't know if I'm gonna count the amount from last year. I probably will, but we'll see how many new cars I have. That's my GTA car collection for 2022. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I recorded this twice taking a lot of time if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace